Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today. I bless your holy name. Thank you for your world that goes out Monday to Friday. Thank you, God, for morning coffee scripture. Thank you for strength and power. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you for pouring your word in me. Thank you for using me as a vessel of grace and vessel of honor. Thank you, God, because I'm your servant. Thank you for using me as holy as uh, 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 as you choose me to be oh god uh, because you are holy i'm praying and believing that uh, we are all holy and righteous in your presence thank you god for killing the sin of our life and taking it away thank you god for not leading us into temptation but delivering us from evil and from sin and from this worldly sinful nature in jesus name and i cover everyone that are listening to me right now listening to the word with the blood of jesus christ thank you lord for the strength in jesus much less name have prayed this prayer amen amen and amen the pericope today will come from uh, first of all romans chapter 8 verse 23 romans chapter 8 verse 23 and he read um thusly 23 not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. And we're going to Romans 8 29. Roman 8, read thusly. Roman 8, for those. God for new, he also predestined destined to be confirmed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Um, in this pericope, um, the topic I'm going to use today will be, now let us become more and more like Christ. Again, now my brothers, now my brothers and sisters, let us become more and more like christ we will be resurrected with bodies crucified bodies like the body of christ now has in heaven we have the first fruit the first installment installment or down payment of the holy spirit as a guarantee of our resurrection life it is natural for children to trust their parents, even though parents sometimes fail to keep their promises. Our Heavenly Father, however, never makes promises he would not keep. Our Heavenly Father never makes promises he will not keep. Nevertheless, his plan may take more time than we expected, because his timing is not on our time, but delay is not denier either. Rather than acting like impatient children as we wait for God's will to unfold, we should place our confidence in God's goodness and wisdom. We have to place our confidence in God's goodness and wisdom. God's ultimate goal for us is to make us like Christ as we become more and more like him. We discover our true selves, the persons we were created to be. How can we be confirmed, confirmed to Christ's likeness? I'm happy you ask. Number one, by reading and heeding the word. When you read, you hear it. That means you be the hearer and the doer of the word that you read. You just don't read it and leave it. Like you look at the mirror and forget yourself. By reading and heeding the word. Two, by studying his life on earth through the gospels there's no way you can study the life of god jesus on when he was in this earth on, unless you study his gospels by being filled with the, his holy spirit when you study his gospels you see how he goes and how he goes in this one what he did and you'll be filled with the spirit and by doing his work in the world that is the way we are we will be able to have confidence in God's goodness and wisdom and become more and more like Christ. The word of God today in this week uh I'm talking about 
uh, sin. I'm talking about the sinful nature. How sin can distract us from our our destiny. How sin can take away our life and 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 put us in a place where we 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 become so crippled. How sin can cripple you and cripple me in this life that we're living. You understand? So we um bringing up this this week because i find out that in christ we are supposed to be an ambassador as an official uh, uh, ambassador of christ and the ambassador is an official representative on behalf of our uh, of one country to another so as believers as christians listen to me as believers if an ambassador is a is an official representative on a be, on behalf of one country to another as believers we are christ ambassadors sent with his message of reconciliation to the world an ambassador of reconciliation has an important responsibility me and you in this world have an important responsibility like as an ambassador of a country we dare not take this responsibility lightly i don't know about you but as an ambassador of christ oh i vowed and i put my hand like you are in the court so i will i will say the truth and i will remain truthful to god as an ambassador of christ and i did not take this work Respond this responsibility lightly. How well are you fulfilling your commission as Christ's ambassador? When we trust in Christ, we make an exchange our sin for his righteousness. And when you do that, it's faith that will take you to that place. Our sin, when we trust in Christ, we make our exchange whenever when you come into into Christ, Christendom, when you become a believer, when you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, you 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 you, you come into a, a place where you exchange your sin for God, for Jesus' righteousness. Our sin was poured into Christ at His crucifixion. His righteousness is poured into us at our con uh, at our conversion. So yes, when you become a believer and when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you, you know, that is where you trust in Christ and you we, we will make an exchange. Our sin for his righteousness, our sin was poured into Christ at his crucifixion. His righteousness is poured into us at our at our convention this is what christians mean by christ atonement for people for sin christ atonement for sin in the world battering works only when two people exchange battering works only when two people exchange goods of relatively equal value like what we did in the economy trade by barter trade by barter but god offers to trade his righteousness for our sin for your sin and for my sin something of immeasurable worth for something completely worthless how grateful we should be for his kindness to us how grateful we should be because God trades something worthless, something very, very righteous, something trade uh, uh, relatively, uh, something that is righteous for something immeasurable worth for something completely worthless. You understand? So when we come into, although God the Father and God the Son are equal, each has a special work to do and an area of so sovereign control. Christ is not inferior to Father, but his work is to defeat all evil on earth, protect us 
First, he defeated sin and death on the cross for me and you. And in the final days, he will defeat Satan and all evil. He, like it looks now like, uh, oh, Satan are taking over. No, no, no. It's coming soon. Worldly event may seem out of control now and justice may seem scary but god is in control y'all god is in control allowing evil to remain for a time for a time for a season for a month for a year until he sends jesus to it again then christ will present to god a perfect new world some believers were baptized on behalf of others who had died unbaptized. Nothing more is known about this practice, but it is obviously affirmed a belief. Because if death ended it all, enjoying the moment will be all that matters. But Christians, we believers, know that there is life beyond the grave, that our life on earth is only a preparation for our life that never ends. What do you do today matters what you do today matters for eternity. In light of eternity, sin is a foolish gamble. I dive every day in flesh. I kill my flesh daily because I know as I'm living in this world, oppositions and sins will face me. Keeping company with those who deny the resurrection could corrupt good Christians, good believers, Christian character. Don't let your relationship with unbelievers lead you away from Christ or cause, you, cause your faith to waver. Because if you do that, that means all you're running the, all this time is in vain. And that is not our portion in the name of Jesus. Our portion is to believe in Christ so that like, the, like my topic, you will come to a place where you, you, you now let, let, so now let us become more and more like Christ. We become more and more like Christ. We act like Christ. We do like Christ. We talk the talk of Christ and walk the walk of Christ. Because that's the only way we'll be able to make it in life. That's the only way this Christian journey will help us. We, we, we can't do it by ourselves. But we have to believe in Christ who brought us this thus far. We have to believe in Christ who is the author and finisher of our life. The Christian life is a process of becoming more and more like Christ. So this process will not be complete until we see Christ face to face. So my brothers and sisters, don't give up now and look at the worldly things and, and let them distract you. Because until Christ comes face to face, our Christian journey is useless. Our being believers is useless. Our, our Whatever you are, we are doing now for Christ is useless. And we don't want to do useless things. We don't want to do, we don't want to go incomplete journey. We want to complete our journey. And the Bible is letting us understand that this process will not complete until we see Christ face to face so hang in there but knowing that it is our ultimate destiny should motivate us to purify ourselves constantly we have to purify ourselves if we want to become more and more like Christ, constantly we have to crucify our sinful desire. If we want to become more and more like Christ, constantly we have to take our eyes out of sin of this world. If we want to become more and more like Christ, constantly my brothers and sisters, you have to purify. Purify means to keep moral straight. You have to keep a morally straight life, free from the corruption of this world, free from corruption of sin. God also purifies us, but there is action we must take to remain morally fit. In the name of Jesus, we got to take some action. God cannot do it all for us. We have to take some action. Because there's difference between committing a sin and committing a sin and continue to sin. Even the most faithful believers sometimes commit sins, my brothers and sisters. But they do not cherish a particular sin and choose to commit it. A believer who commits a sin repents and confesses and finds forgiveness. Hallelujah. Because there's mercy, there's mercy. Come to the throne of mercy. 
A person who continues to sin by contrary, by contrast, is not sorry for what he or she is doing. Does this person never confess and never receives forgiveness? Such a person is in opposition to God. No matter what religion claims he or she makes. When we sin, we know we are in this world, we sin. But if we come, show the glory of God, repent and confess our sin. Yes, the Lord is ready. Yes, sir, the merciful God, the holy God, the righteous God is there to have mercy on us. But if you, you are you who continues to sin, by contrary, is not sorry. If you're not sorry, don't have remorse for sinning. You don't care. You keep on sinning. Does you never confess and never receive confession? forgiveness if you never confess and you keep on sinning you never receive forgiveness such a person if you you do that you are in opposition of god and no matter your religions no matter your church no matter your christianity no matter where you prove yourself you claim it doesn't matter it doesn't matter my brothers and sisters so i come to beg you today Now let us become more and more like Christ. And he said, Joy, how do I do that? By coming down, humble yourself, stop sinning. And even when you sin, confess your sin, commit everything to God, repent, confess it all, and find forgiveness. Because forgiveness is available to you, my brothers and sisters. Merciful God is available. He has mercy. Holy God is available. Righteous God is available. I know these days they don't talk about holiness no more. Nobody talk about righteousness no more. But it is real, y'all. Christ is coming and is seeking for righteous and holy people. Holy believers, holy Christians, holy women, people that are waiting for Christ. And the only way we can be holy is walk like our holy God. Talk like our holy Christ. Do the work and walk the work and do what he calls us to by confessing our sin and leave our sin and move forward and crucify our flesh. Kill our flesh constantly and every desire that makes us to sin. Crucify it constantly and believe in God and have faith in him and let the Holy Spirit come into us and help us to change. And if you have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior, pray with me. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of all my sins and open my heart to let Jesus come inside of me. Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for my sins and you were raised from death. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for saving me in my sinful life and dying for in the cross of Calvary for me in Jesus name my brothers and sisters we all have areas where temptation is strong and habits are hard to conquer but these weaknesses give devil a foothold so we must deal with our areas of vulnerability We must deal with our vulnerability. I know you as long as we live, even me, all of us have our vulnerability, but we must deal with it, recognize it. You know, who goes to the doctor and tell him, doctor, come to the, to the, to the patient room and he said, what is wrong with you? He said, nothing. Doctor is going to move on. Doctor won't bother because their time matters. So you need to recognize your vulnerability. You need to recognize your weakness. You need to recognize your sin. That is the only way you can look for God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the conqueror of sin, the one that swallows our sin, the sinless sin man, the only one of Israel, the holy God, the righteous man, the righteous King of kings. And you can look for him and help. He will help you. You confess it, you repent, and he will help you, help your vulnerability. It will help you so that you will your weakness and give you will not give devil a foothold to hold you. If we are struggling with a particular sin, if you are struggling with a particular sin, however, this all this is directed to you, even if for the time you seem keeping on sinning, is taken about people. Our victories are still incomplete when you sin. When you sin, when you are into sin, your victory is incomplete. 
And if you practice sinning and you look your ways, it's not justified. It can't justify it. So we have to find a very good time way to overcome sin, the victory over prevailing sin. One is to seek the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word. The three steps necessary for us to to overcome sin and 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 uh, have a necessary necessary to find victory over prevailing sin, overcome sin. And sin not to take over us is one. Seek the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word. Without seeking them, without reading the word, you, you can't do it by yourself. It's not something you can do. Because everything is spiritual. That's why the Bible says we're not fighting the flesh and blood. We're fighting the high principalities and power. Hmm, the power of Satan. High principalities of power is spiritual. It's not physical. That sister, that brother, that person, that, poo, that whatever that is tormenting you. Ma'am, it's not those people now. It's not that person. It's the power of demon that Satan used and put in them to distract you, to bring you uh, hatred, hatred, to bring you rejection, to bring to torment your life, to put your, your life when you're going to walk, you don't feel like going. When you're coming back home, you don't feel. It's the devil that is you using them. The only way you can prevail and have victory over sin seek the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word. Two, stay away from tempting situations or oh, every situation that you know that you know that you know you can't stand. Stay away! Three, seek the help of the body of Christ. Be open to their willingness to hold you accountable to pray for you. Oh, Masu Kendelebo. I know these days when you tell people about your problem, they carry it like you gave them a message. Oh, you got to look for someone. You got to look for a church. Look for somebody to, to pray with you. An accountable partner. But these three steps you need to understand and put them together. Like I said, first of them, that is the only thing that will prevail, that will we, 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 we give you victory over prevailing over your sin. We will give you victory to overcome sin. Seek the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word because you can't do it. I mean, you can't you can do without this. <laughs> Stay away from tempting situations. If you know that you know you cannot withstand certain things, stay away from them. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Whatever you know you don't like, they tell you don't to don't eat a chocolate cake no more because you have diabetes or you have this and you go there you eat it more. They tell you know that you know you are very uh, 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 weak when you see a man or woman you want to sleep with them without, without looking back. Stay away from those temptations of the loss of this loss of flesh. Stay away from temptation of sexual immolarity. Stay away from the temptation of immolarity of still. Stay away from the temptation of sin, all type of sin, all sin is the same. Stay away from the mouth of lies. Stay away from temptations of, uh, of, of, of jealousy. Stay away from temptation of lying against someone. Stay away from temptation of uh, creating pain and bringing pain into people's life. Stay away and stay away from tempting your situation. Seek the help of the body of Christ. My brothers and sisters, if you are listening to this word, all the topics you say, now let us become more and more like Christ. And the only way you can become more and more of Christ is to seek the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word. Stay away from tempt tempting situation and seek the help of the body of Christ. Be open to their willingness to hold you accountable and to pray for you. God bless you as you listen and share this word because uh, you never know what people are going through. Like I said, receive Christ as your Lord and save you and look for your bible foundation church and after that read your word god bless you as you listen god bless you as you share in jesus name amen amen and amen thanks be to god